one last follow up based on what I said in a previous video. Of course, leftists have less and less to fight for. And Grog kind of mentioned half the stuff I said in a much more succinct, understandable way for the masses, or not really the masses, the many, the lots of the autistic viewers on YouTube who really want to see the stuff he speaks about, whether for good or bad. Me, on the other hand, I had to say it in a 10 minute ramble, which probably didn't connect the message very well. In 2014, what he did in 2012. But it's all good, of course. Okay, she looks good. Oh, her mom looks good. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry to the mom, not to you guys. You can all suck my dick. But also on the organization of people. That's one thing I mentioned. They were able to do stuff like the French Revolution. When we think of internal street right amongst the left, we think about that Italian girl with the pierced ears kissing a police officer and then getting a sexual harassment request. Really, is that the best we can do? I mean, it's moved from revolution to nonviolent protests to nonviolent protests with coup d'etats. And now it's just a bunch of college hippies all stationed together in tight areas, usually a large mess, but nowadays it's getting smaller and smaller. Uh, it's going to take certain camera angles to make it look like there's mobs of people on the street. In places that aren't as third world, they're able to amass much more people for these street protests. Yet, in the first world, you're going to get a couple hundred people, if not less, but with brilliant camera angles, people are going to think that Thousands upon thousands of people are all lined up for these events, maybe even tens of thousands. No, that's ridiculous. All to go together and protest against whatever oppressive force they're up against. I mean, in the past we were able to see statistics of people, the numbers. People are able to control the political elite based on how they're able to organize as a mass, but we can't do that now. Not left wing, not right wing. Because, really, it's too hot out, man. And there isn't much to fight for. I mean, I remember in the 4th of July, I was in my first and only protest when I went to for experimental reasons against the NSA. And then only a few hundred, maybe 400 at best, were there. And there were just a bunch of lefties concerned about other things like stop and frisk. And also, they were the Occupy crowd. Occupy crowd, a bunch of Marxists and libertarians and girls who don't shave their armpits, acting like sluts, extroverting up the ass. It was terrible, me and my friend. Actually, he spoke his mind a couple of times during that event, but what could that do for you? There's no true intellectual vanguard besides celebrity the New York 
exclusive celebrities that were running the show. And there was a couple of Trayvon Martin related protests in Union Square. But other than that, but there to it's just more and more people amassing to protest whatever the fuck they want. It's artistic, it's interesting, it's fun, it's edgy, and something you can talk about for days later on, some bragging rights, but it's not a French Revolution. It's not. And even that, it's not. A Rodney King riot. It's not an LA riot. It's not. It's not anything Gandhi or anyone going up against apartheid did. These whack ass lefties and the whack ass causes had something more huge and intimidating to take on. And they succeeded. That was more of an accolade. For now, there isn't this, there's just laziness and compliance, ego, people just trying to look good to get laid, and I'm certainly looking good, I'm certainly going to get laid, I know I am, but that's because I'm the shit, and these liberals ain't nothing. This is Mr. Wonka 7 again for a third time. I'm gonna get my dick sucked. You're gonna respect the king. That's it.